What's up guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you my favorite CD tweaks that are compatible with iOS 8. The first tweak I'm going to be showing you guys is Alkaline. Alkaline changes your battery indicator to give it a more sleek look. If we navigate to the settings, you can see under the Alkaline tab that there's three different themes that we can choose from. Bolus, Habisha, or Spots. I prefer Bolus, it gives it a very small, thin looking clean effect. You can choose whichever one you like, but I prefer Bolus. The next week I'll be showing you guys is Cylinder. Now what Cylinder does is changes how your pages animate when you slide left or right. This is one of my favorite tweaks. It gives it just a really cool effect when you're sliding through your pages uh, to look at your apps. Okay, so if we go to the settings, under Cylinder you can see under effects that there's a ton of different effects to choose from. And the cool thing about Cylinder compared to Barrel is that you can actually combine effects to get these really kind of cool like weird effects like there's some that are combined and it's just kind of like trippy actually how weird some of them are but yeah <laughs> um there, this is a really cool tweak um this is one of my favorites it's been around for a while you guys probably already know it but yeah so i prefer to use the stay put and the fade um it gives it a really clean look uh so yeah the next week i'll be showing you guys is no slow animations now after the ios 7 update the animations were always slower compared to iOS 6, and it always to me felt like everything was a bit slower than it could have been. So what this tweak allows you to do is speed up the overall animation of everything on your device, such as opening and closing apps and opening folders. Um, so when you enable this and make it faster, I'm telling you, it makes a huge difference. Opening apps is so much faster, and you can just do everything a lot faster than normal because you don't have to wait for the animation to go slow. It makes them a lot faster. So, yeah, that's no slow animations. The next week I'll be showing you guys is swipe selection. Now, swipe selection comes in handy so much when you're browsing the web or taking notes. Uh, now, as you know, on iOS, if you make a typo or you want to go back and change a word, you have to use the little annoying magnifying glass that always messes up. At least for me, it's very hard to navigate with. So what this actually allows you to do is slide from each side of the keyboard, left or right, and it'll actually move in between each letter or word and it makes it a lot easier than having to use the navigation um, magnifying glass so and also what you can do is for, if you go from the delete key or the shift key over it'll actually select which makes it so much easier than having to highlight and move those little dots uh, it just makes it so much easier to navigate through each word or letter and that is one of my favorite tweaks as well so that's swipe selection the next tweak I'll be showing you guys is hide me 7 now what this actually allows you to do is many various UI tweaks around your device. And one of my favorites that, as you can probably notice on my home screen, is that you can rem remove icon labels on the dock and your icons. So if you go to Springboard, you can highlight hide icon labels and hide page, page dots. And what it'll do is remove the, the labels under each icon, and it gives it a very clean look. It gets rid of the clutter on your device. Um, so yeah, that's one of my favorite tweaks, and there's many other features you can do. If you go to lock screen, you can hide your camera grabber, your control center grabber, your date, and other stuff. If you go to status bar, you can change pretty much everything you see in your status bar. You can get rid of any icon you want, really. In control center, it's pretty much the same. You can hide a lot of things in there. So yeah, that's one of my favorite tweaks. You can really customize a lot of stuff on your device with that tweak. The next tweak I'll be showing you guys, of course, is Zeppelin. You've probably heard of Zeppelin. It's one of the best tweaks out there. Um, it allows you to change your carrier logo or text at the top. So as you can see, I have no carrier logo. It's just a clean signal bars and Wi-Fi bars. I think that looks awesome. It just, Especially on smaller devices, it clears out the status bar. It makes it look so clean. So as you can see on Zeppelin, if you go to theme, there's tons of things you can download in here from Cydia. And there's, there's quite a lot of stock, actually. There's many logos you can put here. Um, it's very cool. Like, I don't know. I just think it's a cool customization thing. And another thing you can actually do is change your carrier text. So you can put your name on there, or do whatever you want. So that's one of my favorite tweaks. You've probably heard of it. It's very famous. Um, yeah, I love that tweak. The next tweak I'll be showing you guys is Flurry. Now, Flurry allows you to change how transparent each part of your device is, such as Control Center or Notification Center. So as you can see, if I pull down my Notification Center, um, it's really like transparent and bright compared to stock. So this is really cool. If I pull up my control center, you can see it's also very transparent. So I'll have my settings that I have in the description. I think it's perfect. 
Um, on some apps, though, like, say, Notes, if you pull up your keyboard, since there's white behind it, it kind of gives it a washed out, like, really white effect where you can't really see the keys. But that's no issue, though, because in the Flurry settings, you can blacklist any app that you don't want it to work in. So I do it for messages sometimes because um, the messages is a white application. So anything behind the keyboard kind of gives it, like, a white effect where you can't see the keys. So, yeah, that is Flurry. That's one of my favorite tweaks. It gives you a very cool way to tr change how your device looks. Um, and it gives it a really clean effect. So, yeah, that's my last tweak. All right, so that wraps up my video on my favorite Cydia tweaks that are currently compatible with iOS 8. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, please press the like button and subscribe. Thank you.